Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about how to set up cosplay for having multiple machineries doing the same task at the same field at the same time. Now this video is nothing, it's not much different than the one that I made with the two combines. However, in this video we're going to be using three cedars and we're going to be sowing field number 17 on the map that I'm currently working on. So, let's jump into a tractor here and set up a course for it. Now let's open the course play hot by clicking the right mouse button. And for fertilizer and seeding, we obviously want to be in the fertilizer and seeding mode down here. And that opens, opens up the course generation button up here. So let's jump into that and go into field number 17 here. Now the working width of this seeder is 6 meters and that's fine by me. And the starting location, well, again, I'm going to be choosing from where I'm parked. So current vehicle position now notice how i can if i wanted to i could set it up by choosing uh, one of the corners here the world corners but we're oops we are going to be choosing the current vehicle position however that also means that the starting direction is going to be set automatic i can't choose which way the uh, vehicle is going to go around the field cosplay is going to do that calculation for me return to the first point i don't really care about headlands i do care about and normally I say when I make these courses that I want three headlands before I start doing the actual field course. Now, I'm using three machinery here, so I only need to take one headland because the combined width of these three machineries uh, will be the same as if I went around doing three headlands with one tractor. So I'm just going to be choosing one headland. However, I will be choosing to go... Uh, Go the field course first and then the headlands last. And I think I want to be setting it up. So yeah, this is this should be fine. Bypass Island, as I talked about that uh, in the video with the uh, Combine Harvesters. And there isn't any island on this field anyway, so I'm just going to deactivate that. The multiple tool, well, we've got three of them, so let's set that up. And that's a combined width of 18 meters. All right, let's generate this course and see how that goes. So now it tells us that it wants to stop up here, but I can't seem to find any start point. So if I'm going to go into this one and click show waypoints, show all waypoints, I will bet you that the starting direction or the starting point is probably down in this corner down here. So I'm just going to click this one off again and I'm going to go into here. now. In the last video with the two combines, I could choose left and right. But seeing as I have three machinery here, I also have a center. However, I want this one to go on to the right. And I want to activate symmetric lane change for this one. All right, that should be pretty much it for this tractor here. So let's go into this one and start from the first waypoint and drive course. Now we need to remember to disable the ridge markers when we are seeding. Alright, so that one is heading off into that direction, so I think it's going to go down to the other corner, uh, the corner down in that end, and start up from there. Let's set up the center one. So again, we're going to open the cosplay hut, and we're going to go into the fertilizer and seeding mode, but instead of going through all of that setting up again, we're going to copy the course from the case that has just left. So if we copy the course, you can see that we have the stop point up there. And if we go into this one, we can also see that we have the same course that we just saw on the case down there. However, notice when we go into uh, the driving settings that we don't have any offset. Oh, sorry, we don't have any symmetric lane change because we are on the center. If we went to the left, we would have symmetric lane change. If we went to the right, we would have symmetric lane change. But going center, we don't have any symmetric lane change. So I'm just going to set this one off and start at the first waypoint, drive course, and disable the ridge markers. All right, this tractor is off. So, so long, brave soldier. Let's 
set off the third tractor. And again, the same principle, we're going to open the cosplay hot, we're going to go into the fertilizer and seeding mode, and we're going to copy the course from one of the two other cases. Now, I could choose either one of them, it doesn't really matter. It's the same course, so I'm just going to pick either one of them. Alright, uh, this one, however, is, is going to have to go on to the left side, and we're going to activate the symmetric lane change. And, well, we should be fine to set it off from the first waypoint, I'm just going to... Take a little bit of time to give this one a little bit of a head start. Drive course and disable the ridge markers. And let's follow it along here. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to hide the hut like that. And let's see how these tractors fare. Now this should be going rather well. However, I, I've got to be honest with you guys. I haven't tested this before I actually recorded this video. So, so you're going to be testing it alongside with me. And uh, I hope it's just gonna go well um, I've actually been asked about this setup not three um, seeders as such but I I had a comment on one on one of my videos um, a viewer was having issues with setting up multiple seeders and despite the fact that he had been using um, identical tractors and identical uh, seeders he was not getting the result that he wanted so Let's see if we can actually do something here. And it seemed like we had a very lucky incident down there. The two tractors that we already set off seem to be going just fine. You see this, the one in the center and the one to the right. So I do wonder if we are going to get into trouble with this tractor, if this is going to get stuck in traffic. Maybe we're lucky. I don't know. Oh, I don't think we're going to be lucky. Yeah, I think we're going to get stuck in traffic. Yeah, we are. All right. Let's stop this one. And... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. <laughs> wow. That was a bit bad. All right. Let's set him off again. Drive course at the first waypoint. Go for it. Alright, so we weren't 100% lucky, but still... That's not too bad. That could have been a lot worse. So now they should be off doing their thing. They should be uh, capable of doing this figuring out who's going to go on the left, who's going to go on the center, and who's going to go to the right, and so on. And hopefully we can uh, we can do this without any major incidents. I, um... I hesitate to say that it's going fine so far, but... <laughs> but it seems like we got some sort of... coordinated dance going on here are we actually are we are we so lucky that this is gonna be um... you know what guys I think actually this is gonna work at the first take Wow only issue we had so far was this tractor that we're following right here was gonna get was getting stuck in traffic um, but if that was all then, um, wow. I'm not really sure what to say <laughs> other than, holy shit. Right, let's just follow them along a little bit here and see how it goes. Now, notice that there are some patches here and there, but in the greater scheme, it's not really anything to be bothered about. Alright, I'm just going to follow them along and let's see how it goes.
All right, they've been uh, they've been running for about an hour now, and um, yeah, they're doing the job really, really, really well. And as you can see, we um, we haven't got any issues with machinery getting stuck in traffic or anything like that. They actually seem to be able to take care of themselves. Um, I have not had any uh, any incident where I had to intervene, where I had to take over the control of the tractor, except for the one that we set up uh, that we saw in the start of this video. Um, other than that, the tractors has been um, well; they've been taking care of themselves really, and, and as you can see, it's going really, really well. So there you have it, guys. That's um, that's how I set up these multiple machineries with the uh, cosplay version 5 and beyond now again do remember that you need to go into the github uh, the cosplay github to get this version of uh, of the cosplay so the version that i'm using currently is uh, version 5.02.00 uh, 37.dev and that is i've, I've got this one f directly from the um, from the cosplay github so do go into that one. I, I will link it down in the description so you can find it easily. Uh, go into that one, get the cosplay downloaded, and um, and play around with it. It it is um, from from my perspective, from from what I've experienced with cosplay, the direction they're working on here with multiple tools and and the setup, where you don't have to multiply and divide, uh, working with and so on. This is so much easier than it used to be. And if this is the direction that cosplay is, is uh, going to be working on, we have some very good thing coming up um, for us when whenever cosplay is released. Uh, now, as always with cosplay, it's a work in progress. And keep an eye on on the GitHub if you want to make sure that you get the latest version all the time. You can also read the description of what they are actually doing and, and what their thoughts are about the things that they're doing. So go into the GitHub, have a look at it, and thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope this answered some of your questions. If not, do post them down in the comment section down below, and I'll have a look at it and get back to you as soon as possible. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.